All right, this is part five of modeling the engineering room, and uh, thank you very much for checking in here. And uh, if you've liked this series and you like the conclusion of this series, uh, please consider uh, liking the video and going back and liking the other ones. Subscribe if you haven't, and keep checking back with me to see what else uh, we got going on. Uh, you know, we're not professionals here, we're just having some fun. So uh, this is what we've got so far. All right, and it's time to get to work on uh, what I'm calling the reactor core. I want to just show you that I've uh, just organized my scene collection here, put things where I need them to be so that if I wanted to focus on uh, or I wanted to hide the reactor parts, I could do that. We've got the reactor core. I'm about to build that. I want to hide all the computers. I could do that. So it's just a very uh, simple way of doing things. All right, so I'm going to go back there into shaded view, and uh, this piece here is going to be part of the reactor parts. There's that's that's going to be the glass. Um, we're going to deal with that uh, soon, but I'm going to set my origin to geometry for that thing and bring my cursor uh, to there. And I'm going to uh, actually I'm going to uh, hide that. And uh, on reactor core, I'm going to bring in a cylinder, and I'm just going to make this like. Uh, 18 vertices doesn't have to be very much nothing on the ends i don't need that and i'm going to scale this down so that it would be inside the glass i'm going to scale it pretty small all right but i'm going to make it longer scale this in the z so it fills up the reactor pretty much something like that would probably be just fine okay i might scale it a little bit smaller as well all right and i think i may keep this visible so i'm just going to shade it smooth and that is going to be the um, actual emitted uh, emitter sorry the um so i'm going to call this uh, i'll call this the particle emitter okay so with that all set up here uh, i'm going to actually click down here on the particles i'm going to hit plus so uh, that's acting as uh, an emitter. Uh, my number of particles, I'm going to choose uh, 5,000. And of course, I'm going to be in EV. And let's do a few more things down here. Uh, let's close that up. Let's see where we want to be here. We'll come down to uh, render here. We'll deal with that in a second. The scale. Uh, you'll see i uh, i'm going to use that in a second all right let's let's go ahead and do what i need to do um the particles themselves are going to be based on cubes because i want them to be relatively low poly so i'm going to create a, a cube here i'm going to drag this cube over here and out to the side so it's really not visible it doesn't really matter how big that is but i'm going to call this the um particle cube And the particles are going to be tiny cubes. I'm going to come back over here. And under render, render as not halo, but render as an object. And the object I'm going to choose down here, the object is going to be that um, particle cube. I could probably just select it, but I'll scroll all the way down there. Particle cube. All right. Now, if I hit this, you see uh, you already are starting to see some particles back out and deselect okay now they're falling down and I don't want them to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to where is it let's first of all do that right there we go field weights I'm going to kill the gravity make it zero so now they're doing that okay now uh, I don't want them going all over the place and I don't want them that big as cubes so that's why i was working on that size right there it's the scale so i'm going to go 0 0.01 i'll try and that might even be too small so uh, i'm going to leave it at 0 0.02 for now so we can work with that and um with this piece uh, selected in fact i'm going to select it again and i'm going to set the origin of geometry right in the center and bring the 3d cursor there Okay, so I got that. I'm going to go Shift A and I'm going to bring in a force field down here and I'm going to use Vortex. Scale it a little bit. Now let's check that out. Okay, see they're kind of spinning around on the inside. Uh, scale it a little bit more. 
Okay, now what I'm going to be doing is, is just a static image, obviously. So I'm not going to uh, bake and render out this animation. I'm just going to stop it at some point like there and take my render. So you'll see uh, what I'm getting at in a bit. Um, okay, what else do we want to be doing here? Um, go back to my particles here. So I did that, and that, and that. Uh, might be something I'll come back to. Okay, so let's go over now to the particle cube. Okay, keeping in mind these particles are like instances of this cube. And that's why I chose something that's relatively low poly. If I chose like a, you know, a, a sphere where that was subdivided, it'd be a lot to generate. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over to shading and I'll switch over to, to Eevee. Okay, and under the materials, I'm going to click new and I want to just change this to an emission all right you can already see my particles over there and I'm gonna make this like a green color so all I need to do okay uh, I might have this at a strength of three though you can try that so that's over there so let's just go back to the modeling now and in Eevee, you can see my particles. All right. Now you can also see the emitter uh, in the middle, but I don't really think that I mind that. Um, I might give this an emission as well. Three. Let's see how that goes. You know, if if that's the kind of thing that you like, um, maybe that could be smaller. Scale shift Z. Let's see how that goes. If I make it really small, let's uh, do that. Something like that. You can decide if you like uh, if you like it like that or not. So let's save that for the moment. Uh, let's go back to, um, here, well, let's make it out here and go back to the particles. And think about this. Let's try that. Now we can also um, increase the number of particles. I should be okay going up. We'll try maybe 8,000. The sh computer should be just fine with that. Let's have a look at the render settings here. 150, ambient occlusion, bloom, sub screen space reflections. Oh yeah, shadows. I wanted to turn on soft shadows. Got that at 1.75. All right, so we're gonna create the glass now for uh, this part right here, all right? And uh, I'm going to be just basically following this, all right? So I'm gonna have a mix shader, glossy and glass, those standard ones there and then a Fresnel and an RGB curve uh, to make the glass uh, to show up in, in Eevee. It's sometimes a little bit a little bit different, but all right, so mix glossy and glass. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. So let's, with that selected, let's switch over to shading. I will click new. I'm gonna change this to a mix shader. And uh, I'm just going to, let's just uh, control spacebar. All right, we'll take that and shift D. This one's gonna be glossy. And that's gonna plug in there. And I'll duplicate that and shift S. This one's going to be glass and I'll plug that in here. We'll come back and look at the values here. All right, so roughness 0 0.5 and this one, it's Beckman 0 0.3. 0 0.5, I'll do 0 0.3. I don't want it thin, thin. All right, I got it like that. And I haven't really put any thickness on this glass. Something I might want to think about. 
Uh, all right, I'm going to need a couple more things. I'm going to need an input uh, for now. And I'm going to need an RGB curve. Okay. I believe the FAC is going to go to the color there. And then into the FAC. There. And I'm just going to drag that up a little bit. Now, you can choose uh, values here. Um, I'm going to go ahead with about 1.3. Um, we may have to change that. Let's have a look at what this is looking like, though. Here are a few important settings uh, for the glass. All right, over here under the material settings, change the blend mode to either alpha blend or you could try alpha hashed. All right, see which one works uh, better for you. The refraction depth is probably shows up at zero anyhow. We want uh, screen space refraction on there as well. All right, and um, we also want over here, Let's see if there's anything else we want uh, over here. I don't think there's anything important here. I think those were the main the main things that we uh, are going to need uh, for the glass uh, material itself. Okay, let's see if there's anything up here in the rendering. Make sure refraction is on. Trace precision, I'm going to put at 1.0. Thickness I'm changing to 0 0.1. I think it was 0 0.2 standardly. I'm not sure about that. Um, yeah. I think that's probably about it. Not going to worry about any of that stuff. Okay. So here's what we've got here. And I'm just going to freeze it at that point. And I'm going to try render. Okay, so this is the effect that I'm getting. I was going to put in some lights here, and you can do that, but I don't know that I'm going to do that. So I think what I'll do is I'm just going to decide if this is where I want my shot from. And I think it pretty much is right about there. And, you know, I realize I got the black here, but... That's all right. It's not going to be the end of the world. I'm just going to leave it like that. I want some of the desks showing. So I'm going to come up to 250. I'm at full size. I'm going to let it do its thing, and we'll have a look. All right. So this is what my render looks like. You could, of course, play with the glass. You could play with the particles and have them, um, you know, larger, more particles, less particles moving around. Um, I happened to stop, uh, you know, my animation at a particular frame that I liked. You could find a different one, different color, all that kind of stuff. But uh, this is generally the uh, image that I was uh, going for, and it's relatively similar to uh, this one here. Okay. And that's what I've got there. All right, and I think uh, I think we're going to leave it at that. That's going to conclude this series on modeling the engineering room. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you found that interesting or enjoyable or helpful or whatever. If so, leave me a like, leave me a comment, help me out that way. And uh, we'll get back to you very soon with some more. Thanks for watching.